Get ready for Mikey Sun TV. Four, three, two, one, zero. Hey guys, what's going on? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Yes, the camera is kind of askew. Mikey Sun is kind of askew. Why? Because I'm trying to hide something and I'm wanting to show you. Well, if many of you have been keeping up with my channel at all, you would know that I have some more news coming in uh, to the channel and it's going to change my life. Uh, it's going to add more content to the channel. And it could very well change your lives as well. Mikey Sun, what in the world are you talking about? Well, guys, I have a passion that I've had for many years. And it started even before I was in my 20s. I was a kid and I was fascinated with it. But in my 20s, I started. What did I start doing? Well, I started working out, guys. Let me show you something. That's right. I've taken my first steps, guys, into getting back into a passion that I'm very near and dear about. I love working out. I love to working out. Uh throughout my 20s, 30s, and then some into my 40s. Not much, but started into my 40s. Now, I didn't work out non-stop, boom, 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 20, 30 years. Work out a little bit, take off, work out a little bit, take off, work out a little bit, take off. It's just how it is. It's how it goes. But still, all these years, it's a passion and a love of mine that I truly enjoy doing, and I think about it all the time. Now, I started working out again, at a local uh, gym here, Freedom Fitness, about 2014, maybe, yeah, somewhere around 2014, maybe 2015, and I had a year contract there, and after that year was up, I canceled it. Why? Why, Mike? Why'd you cancel if you love working out? Well, this shoulder, if you keep up with me, this shoulder got all screwed up. Number one, they've both been screwed up from working out. Not on my own personal bench, but at two other separate benches at a friend's house and a friend's house. One shoulder got messed up, another shoulder got messed up. But over the years, those have kind of subsided and not bothered me too much. But then about 2014-ish or so, maybe 2015, winter of 2015, uh, like January, February, somewhere, I don't know, somewhere in there. I'd have to go back and look, all right? I started playing disc golf. And the very first day that I played, I hurt my shoulder. I mean, I could feel that I was really wearing my arm out. But I kept playing. And then the next day I'd go play. And then the next weekend. And, and so on for like a month or so. I tried to keep playing. And, tried to, and it got to the point to where I was like throwing like this. Because I'm stupid and I'm stubborn. And it hurts so bad. I've got scar tissue up in here. I mean, you can feel the knots and stuff. And it's been so bad ever since then that I can't even, like, if I were to, like, just go like that and bump my hand on, like, the bed or a, or a counter or anything, just any kind of resistance that automatically stopped that, it would, it would like, almost drop me to the ground. Matter of fact, one day I did that in the bedroom. I just happened to move like that and my hand hit my bed and it just vibrated and whatever, you know, to that point. And I just fell on the bed just like, uh, you know, rolling in pain. Uh, you know, hey, if our American health care system was worth a crap, I could probably go and get something done. But, uh, you know, I pay for insurance and you can't use it. So that's America. But uh, anyway... I've been burning and burning and earning and yearning to try and get back to working out. 
Now, I'm not going to go hard and heavy and all crazy and all that like I used two years ago. It's not about how much weight I can move, but just about moving some weight. That's it. I'm not getting barbells or anything that I'm aware of <laughs> anytime soon. Uh, right now, I just picked up this uh, um, FID bench flat incline decline, for those of you that don't know. Bench, it's a pair body, name brand, super freaking heavy. It's a, I don't know what model it is or how old it is, but I bought it used. I found a, a guy on Craigslist, it was either Craigslist or Marketplace, I don't remember. And uh, he was just in like the next county over. And uh, he went down on the price and met me out by the highway so I didn't have to find his house. And helped me put it into my vehicle. So $75 for that heavy duty gym quality bench. And uh, I had a, a bench ready to go in my shopping cart uh, online. And it was $300. And that was before taxes and that. So I kept looking and kept looking and kept looking. And finally, boom, I found this. And I was like, man, I hate to buy something used. And you don't know how old it is. You don't know if it's rickety or wobbly or warped or something. You know, so I took a chance. So, you know, texting the guy and, and all that. And met him there. You know, met him over in Dover, Tennessee. And, uh. You know, we took it out of his truck, sat it down on the on the side of the road there on the shoulder, and we're out there. Man, I'm like, good lord, this is heavy, man. And I've had a heavy duty bench before, you know, a gym quality heavy thick duty bench, and that right there is pretty solid stuff. Um, Seventy five dollars, guys. No real flaws to it. It's just dirty. It needs to be cleaned. Uh, he said it's been in storage. I don't know if it was his all these years or someone else's or whatever I don't know but $75 plus he met me at the highway <laughs> so um, my, my new adventure is starting uh, anyway I went and got that this past Monday and uh, what date was that just for record purpose on the 8th yep me and the wife loaded up in the car and Went there, picked that up, and then we went and ate and went to the store and stuff. So, so anyways, uh, I got a bench and I ordered uh, some dumbbells, some adjustable dumbbells. And I can get the name right here. They are called, which is kind of a strange name, but they are based in Canada. Pippin or Pippin or Pippin, P-E-P-I-N, and they are based in Canada. That's an adjustable dumbbell, but not like uh, Bowflex or, or or some of the other ones that uh, that are popular out there. I know the names. I'm just not thinking of them. Um, it's not like those. It's basically a dumbbell handle, you know, normal dumbbell handle. And it's coming with enough plates to equal out the amount of weight for each uh, dumbbell. And it has like a kind of a spin lock thing for them. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice quality looking dumbbell. They have some good uh, reviews and stuff. But I'm just getting dumbbells. Uh, it's they're, Each one is 110 pounds. So a total of 220 pounds. Uh, now at my, at my strongest, I was doing 100 pound dumbbells, no problem. Like sets of 10, you know, no problem. Uh, doing chest presses and uh, one arm rows and, you know, whatever else. Um, but that was at my biggest and baddest. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I wanted to get these. They're brand new. They're beautiful looking. They're uh, and they're they're shipping. It's gonna take probably anywhere six to eight weeks to even get them. So I got those coming. I got my bench. Uh, I've got in my shopping cart ready, ready for Mr. Stimulus to hit. I've got a um, let me let me pull up the other page here. Uh, it's a Titan. If it'll hurry and pull it up, I know it's a Titan. Uh, Titan Fitness. It's a plate loaded, a uh, plate loadable lat tower, and uh, it's got the the high and low pulleys. You know to do 
down and then to sit down and do those and, and all that good stuff. And I went a little bit nice on this because I've always had like the cheaper kind. So I went uh, pretty decent on this one. It's a really good price though. Uh, not much more than like your bottom, you know, your more entry level ones. Uh, so I went, I'm going with this one as long as they've got them in stock uh, and we get our stimulus checks quick enough. I got that like that. So I got that. I got my bench. I got some dumbbells coming. I got to get some plates uh, because the the uh, lat machine uh, tower and that uh, it uses free weights to put on it. Uh, so I'm trying to find some uh, cheap, dirt cheap weights to throw on there, you know. But everybody wants big dollars, even if the weights are sitting in their basement not being used or their garage or they're dirty and rusty or whatever the case. Everybody wants big money for everything. So anyway, got the bench, got the lat tower, got the dumbbells coming in. Uh, anything else? Um, right now I'm not really looking to get anything else. I'm wanting to see how this goes. Uh, right this second, and I just noticed like yesterday, maybe yesterday or the day before. Now, it's not fixed. I'm not better. It, it, I'm not even going to pretend like I am. But, I don't have the discomfort all the time that I've been having for the last, you know, five years. You know, since the this golf. So, you know, I don't think it's fixed, but it's not aggravated feeling. So, uh, and I've noticed, you know, even reaching in the refrigerator to grab something, you know, you open with the left hand and you go to reach in like that. And it's like, ugh, ugh, like that. That's how bad it hurts. <laughs> you know, it's like, I can't even reach in there to grab nothing. But I, st but I just noticed that that wasn't happening. So... Maybe the inflammation's kind of went down a hair, and I hope that I don't inflame it while working out. I'm not going to go heavy. I'm going to take it easy and see how things go, and if things go okay, then, you know, I'll push myself a little bit. But this is all going to work into my YouTube channel. Not only is it going to help me to get big and strong. No, I'm not looking to get big and strong, but not only is it going to help me to stay more active, and uh, keep some muscle on me because, you know, we lose muscle like that after the age of 30. You start losing muscle quick. So uh, it's good to keep some muscle on you. Uh, it keeps you strong. It keeps you, you know, to where you can take falls and hits and, and be able to do things and lift yourself up if you need to. Oh, I am looking for one more thing. And I've been wanting one for 30 years, but I never got into it. I never did it. I'm going to get me a big tire so I can flip it up and down my driveway. Um, that'll help with cardio and help with the strength and helping to build the back muscles and legs and all that. So I'm looking for a, a old tire around here somewhere. I'm going to start asking around. So I'm wanting to do that. So I'm going to have a couple of things that I can mess around with. And that's, that's why my cycling's uh, kind of going to take not a back seat, but I'm not going to be worrying about cycling four, five, six, seven days a week, you know, uh, even though the weather is fixing to get nice, I still don't want to spend all my time just riding, you know, I love my bike, and I love, you know, hitting my couple of little routes that I do on that, but, you know, I want to mix things up, I want to be more active and do things that I enjoy, if I can keep from hurting myself, you know, with my already chronic bad back, and my hip and pelvic area that I've screwed up from a couple of things. And, and of course this. You know, if I could just kind of work around some stuff and and, and, and be smart. I, I think I'm going to be able to do okay. And in hopes that everyone out there watching is going to join in. And we're going to get fit and healthy together. Okay? Because not only can I work out, but I can also bring my bike in here and put it on the trainer. And we can cycle together. So, it's, it's really me getting back to doing more of what I love so much. Uh, along with all the other things that I do, you know, I, I love all that other stuff that I do. But working out 
and doing stuff like that has it's just been in my blood you know since I was in my 20s and uh, it's something that I miss and uh, I, I really can't wait to get going I wasn't gonna show anybody any of this until I got everything together but I can't wait I couldn't wait any longer the I put my bench in the back bedroom and just a, a little while just a few minutes ago before I did the video <laughs> I wheeled it in here and I was looking at it and I finally am looking at it and just kind of feeling how heavy it is and thinking, man, it's crazy. You know, I wasn't sure if I'd ever be able to get anything again or if I was going to ever go to a gym again or anything. So I've always been a work at home kind of guy. I've always had all my own equipment. Uh, the only real time I ever went to a gym was when I joined Freedom Fitness for that year. And uh, it was great. It's a great gym. If you live in Henry County, you need that's a good gym to go to. Really a good gym. But for me, I'm more comfortable at home. And plus only having one car, I don't always have a way to and from. And even though the gym is basically only a mile away, I could ride my bike. Uh, matter of fact, if, you, if my route that I take all the time on my bike, you guys could actually see it if you could see through the trees. So it's, it's not far from my house. It's just do you want to have to do that every time you want to go to the gym. So anyway, super long story, super long told. <laughs> so I'm waiting on all my stuff to get here and I'm super excited. And I, and I, I hope that they have these in stock, the, the, the lap machines, whenever we finally get our stimulus check because I'm ready to go bloop and go with it. So um, I'm pretty excited, guys, and I hope you are, and I hope that I can inspire you to uh, join in, uh, even if you, even if you just have like a bar, or you have one set of dumbbells, or whatever it is that you're going to have uh, that you could get, I encourage you to do it and join along, because it'll be fun, you know? I, I'm used to working out alone, but maybe you need someone with you to help you to encourage you I can be that guy I'm a real guy I'm not some of these people that you see online and these fitness channels on TV and on YouTube and all this stuff you know there's a lot of fluff and stuff going on with those and I'm just a real guy so and that's how I am in all my videos and my channels so I'm a real person and, I, and I'm easy to connect with and we can get through this together guys so I hope you're happy. I'm happy. I'm super stoked. I can't wait to get all my stuff in. And uh, I can't wait to get those uh, good pains. You know, the good workout pains that you're supposed to get. So anyways, guys. My new bench, my new used bench, $75. Let me show you this. Watch this. So, so there you go, and it's got wheels on it. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Yeah, guess I can look and see. Yeah, there's the number. It's definite quality. Yep, that's a good looking bench right there, guys. I got so lucky. Anyways, 
long video and I'm sorry, but anyway, I'm excited. So join in with me for 2021. We're all going to get a little bit healthier and a little bit happier, I think. All right, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it and be on the lookout. Can't wait. See ya. Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it!